Hi, I'm Stephanie Todaro, and I'm an LA-based kids and family photographer, and I'm gonna give you a few tips about shooting here at Arlington Garden. When my clients first arrive, I typically introduce myself and take them to the furthest point in the garden so that it gives us a little bit of time to get acquainted with the space, let the kids get a little bit adjusted, and we can start chatting and start to get to know each other a little bit better. It makes for better photos because they feel a little less nervous about being in front of the camera and a little bit more well acquainted with me and the area that we're going to be shooting in. When I'm setting up for my family portraits, I only bring two lenses with me usually. Traveling light makes things go a lot smoother and doesn't create any kind of complications. I really love shooting with my 35 millimeter because not only does it allow me to get the wider shots of the beautiful garden space, but it also allows me to get a little bit closer and get intimate with people um, and get those really nice up close moments. A lot of people want a lush background for their family portraits and immediately when they think of a garden, they think of another one here in Pasadena. But I actually think of Arlington. It's perfect to pitch to clients because I tell them it's charming, private, easy to access, and especially for families. You just park on the street and walk right in. It's small and intimate, but there are plenty of unique spots to shoot in and room for the kids to run around and get their energy out. Um, there is a small fee to shoot here, but it's so much less than the other gardens around here and no one ever really says no to that. If a family is naturally dynamic and incredibly comfortable in front of the camera, I just sit back, observe, and, and capture as we move along. More likely, families that show up for my sessions are a little bit more reserved and anxious at times. It can be stressful getting your family portraits, especially for the parents. Um, so it helps to keep everyone moving along, keep it really relaxed and playful throughout the entire session with chatting, taking breaks for snacks, just keeping it as though you are out enjoying the garden with friends. It gives the photos a little bit more of a fun and um, naturalistic feeling if everybody just has a more casual tone about it and I love it because families are unpredictable kids will do whatever they want and the uncertainty of that excites me and makes it much more photojournalistic um, and natural to who they really are and while it may stress out the parents I make it known that however this the flow of this session goes we are going to capture beautiful memorable moments among them. The beauty of Arlington Garden is that there's a bunch of different growth there. Varied heights of trees, lower kind of meadow areas, so depending on how your style of shooting is, the light kind of gives you everything you'd want. My style, I prefer a more shady, um, non-direct light kind of portraiture, and the garden just provides. The first thing to do if you're planning on shooting in Arlington Garden is to go to arlingtongardenpasadena.org and reserve the time. It's super easy to do and all the money they make goes directly to supporting the garden and it's also tax deductible, so you can feel good about that. If you're just planning on taking photos of the plants, flowers, and natural beauty, a permit isn't necessary. Arlington Garden is a free, non-profit, community-built garden. Your photo permit is an important part of supporting its mission to be a climate-appropriate habitat garden offering learning, inspiration, and enjoyment for all. I hope this helps you prepare your photo shoot at Arlington Garden. If you have any questions, please get in touch.